And what about this other kind of application where you have, hey, Drunk Island, generate for me the face of a celebrity who doesn't exist. That application is a real application. That works. So the technique there is called Generative Adversarial Neural Networks, or GANs, and it's all the rage these days. Here's how to think about those. There are two Drunk Islands, not one. Drunk Island number one is taught to figure out whether the celebrity is a real celebrity or it's some fake generated image. So it's a thing labeler that's doing a bit of truth detecting, which one is legit, which one isn't. And the second Drunk Island is supposed to trick the first one, generate images that get past the other one's defenses. And both of them learn together and both get better at their game as they battle it out in cyberspace. And by the time they're done, the tricker is good enough at it to trick you. And its output looks kind of legitimate. Still the same kind of components. And still for both of them, you need to be able to say, what does it mean for the first one to succeed? What does it mean to correctly identify the face? What is the other one trying to do? If you cannot say that, you will not be able to uh, use machine learning to, to solve your task.